Hello guys, welcome to Knowledge Pond YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to share what exactly the HR interview and what uh, HR guys expecting from us. HR interview questions and answers video series is divided into two videos. Video one contains all HR interview questions and especially for freshers and entry level job seekers. Video 2 is specially designed for professional uh, experienced guys. The mode of interview would be personal interview. Uh, HR interview uh, will never be a telephonic interview. The duration of HR interview would be 30 to 45 minutes. HR guys would ask 10 to 15 questions in general. So what are the HR expectations from us? The HR interview is basically designed to check our soft skills and behavioral skills and how we behave in front of others. And they also check our strengths and weaknesses and ambition and they check how we fit for this current position and how we fit for this organization as well. And they also check our educational qualification, work experience and soft skills and uh, emotional how we are strong at how we are balancing our emotions attitude ambition flexibility commitment level demonstration skills qualities dedication social responsibilities how we are planning for short term and long term goals and what about our strategy all hr interview questions are well structured and well designed to check our all skills so if you keenly observe all any kind of HR question it comes either one of this category and uh, they would ask questions at least one question for each category so based on by keeping that in my mind I have prepared top 30 most frequently asked HR interview questions and answers so from this interview, so what are expectations? Like what is our expectation? Why, what we, what are the things we expect from this interview? So we would like to know about the organization culture, growth and any branches, whether it is national or international company. And suppose if you join like in this organization, what about our career growth? And what about team members and teams? and office timings, salary package, and whether we best fit to this organization, and uh, whether we can knowledge, uh, whether we can sell our sales or knowledge at the best price. So we need to keep certain things while answering uh, HR questions. So we need to keep all answers very short and sweet and we you please speak all the times very positive statements please don't give any negative impression or negative statements and you please ask hr guy if you are not clear about anything and please don't allow any emotions like stress scare tension suppose if you have some tension stress fear or any kind of emotions so we cannot be a strong and confident and we cannot open our brain to express our potentiality strengths in front of others so here we all need to have very pleasant and cool mind and please keep in mind you please take the interview uh, to the next level in every moment and you please showcase your skills as much as possible and be cool be smile be strong and uh, please give the right impression as you are the best for this position so let me start with the very favorite question and the very first question so tell me about yourself or why don't you introduce yourself so this is very common first interview question for any kind of interview either it is technical management or hr interview if it is hr interview the chances are very more and uh, no matter which job interview you are going to attend you are going to uh, give 
the interviewer would like to know about yourself and uh, they are they would like to know about how you are describing yourself how you are demonstrating your skills from this any interviewer like hr interview the expectations are like uh, your educational background your strengths and weaknesses career short term and long term goals for this question my answer would be hi well good morning first of all i would like to thank you for giving me such a great opportunity to introduce myself let me start with my educational background i graduated from jnt university be in computer science and engineering after that i post graduated from usmani university mtech in computer science and uh, let me uh, i will add my strengths and weaknesses i am always uh, being self starter hard working person and would like to find new things to improve my skills on new technologies in general on my free time i play computer games and solving computer puzzles i like being with people in helping and i enjoy problem solving and challenging work and that is almost uh, about myself and uh, thank you very much the next question would be could you please tell me your strengths if you already given your strengths and weaknesses in the previous question hr never ask the same question again and again and for this question my answer would be my greatest strengths is persistency and consistency creativity quick thinking and good at decision making i am always being self starter self motivated person hard working person and would like to find new things to improve my skills on new technologies i am dedicated towards my work to achieve my personal and professional goals the next question would be could you please tell me your greatest weakness here you please keep in mind please give your negativity like weaknesses in very polite and positive manner my answer would be frankly i can say that i have some minor weaknesses as a human being uh, i am a little sensitive i trust people very easily i'll definitely overcome these in a over a period of time in future i would like i would like to be very honest and uh, everything can achieve in the right manner i don't like to say lies for the sake of any short term benefits tell me about your hobbies and interest from this hr guys would like to know your uh, hobbies and interest my hobbies and interest are i love learning about new things i love traveling and meet spend time with friends and family members i love playing computer games on my free time so next the next question would be can you work under pressure from this hr guys expectations are how you are strong at emotional as a pressure i am not aware of any situation of pressure in office environment pressure is just a state of mind so i never feel such a pressure which affects on my work and when i feel any pressure i do just relax myself by doing some meditation or yoga moreover pressure is integral part of any job either it is hard or soft job but i'll definitely do my best to avoid any pressure uh, which is caused from my side the next question would be do you get angry if so how do you come out normal from this hr guy checks how you are emotional and uh, my answer would be i am a cool minded person and uh, i am very positive person i don't get angry very easily but as a human being emotions are quite natural sometimes in some situation even without my mistake uh, makes some angry i'll try to come out normal in a very short time by doing some meditations the next question would be in some situations like fire what will you do the from this question hr guys are expecting how you are uh, like uh, how you are responsible social responsibility 
the first of all i'll try to be emotional balance to avoid getting stress or scared and then i'll check all fire exit places to check my safety and try to inform people around me and at the same time i'll try to inform fire department in the office i'll try to help i'll give a hand to others to come out all of them from this abnormal scenario the next question would be what will you do if you are offered a job with a salary higher than this from this hr guys are expecting how your inclination towards money uh, any any kind of uh, uh, things like which are giving more benefits as i told you earlier that i would like to start and build my professional career in the right direction so now i'll concentrate on my career building and growth so i am not that much inclination interest towards money at this stage so next question would be what is more important to you money or success or job satisfaction again uh, this also similar question here the money and success both are very important for me but i just have started my career so i enjoy and feel success with my job satisfaction now the reason behind this choice is if i am a successful person automatically money would follows often the next question would be would you like for the company so from this question hr guys expecting your honesty level frankly i like to be very honest i don't like to say lies for the sake of any short term benefits suppose if others knows that i lied for this company that moment that day it would give very bad impression and at the same time it may give negative impact and spoil my long term career so i don't like this and uh, whenever if i am not a confident i'll go for uh, lies so generally i don't like to say anything i am confident i'll tell very frankly all the things so i told you that i would like to be very honest i would like to achieve everything in the right manner if hr guys says really sorry like uh, your skill set is not matching with current job profile and if hr guys says like this please don't get any scare here hr guys are checking how you are receiving positive and negative statements oh really no problem as this is my first interview in my career i have learned many things from this whole interview process but i am confident that i am good at both soft and technical skills i feel that i have given best from my side in whole interview process thank you very much for giving me this wonderful opportunity and the next question would be how long you commit to work with us here hr guys checking how you are strong at uh, long term plans so my answer would be i am looking my career in the right organization where i can grow both the personal and professional i want to learn and build my skills on many areas like technologies and communication as long as i'm satisfied with all these new learnings and challenges from your organization i don't mind to change any other organization for the sake of any short term any other benefits and uh, next the next question would be what uh, motivates you at work so many things are motivated me in my entire life in all phases as i told you earlier that i am a self motivated person and most of the time i love reading books on great people i learn many things from the great people so i inspired and motivated lot from all these many books and great people the next question would be who has inspired you in your life and why the my inspiration is my father always since i have grown by observing and learning values from him in my life my father succeeded by his hard work and as being very honest he teaches me always how to lead a life in the right way as being very honest he has given me the best in my life in all aspects so my inspiration definitely would be my father 
and the next question would be explain how would be an asset to this organization as per my knowledge the growth of any organization is depends on collective effort i plan to have improve my abilities and become the leader in my field this means that i can contribute more to my employer and company so i will dedicate my work and try to give best from my side to the organization growth and adding some values to the organization so definitely i can say that i'll be part of this organization and i have plans for long term and i'll be a good asset to this organization and why should i hire you so from here hr guys are expecting why should i hire you instead of another guy so you need to be strong you need to express you need to demonstrate your strengths the being a fresher i am not a right person to tell that uh, i am the right person to this position but i am sure that uh, i'll give you best from my side i trained in advanced technologies which are very much suitable to this position so once i join uh, this organization i may not uh, take much time and uh, much trainings required i can start work immediately on projects apart from this i have good experience on problem solving capability and i am good at how to troubleshoot the problem in very fast and i also have good leading and organization skills so i can so i can say that i am the right person for this position and moreover as i told you that i already trained so i can save the time and uh, organization money as well so what is the difference between hard work and smart work the hard work and smart work are interrelated it almost still depends on each other if one works very hard at initial stages then he would be a smart worker in initial days of any hard work gives us good amount of knowledge and wisdom uh, which would give us to take right decisions at the right time uh, that makes that give impression as to others uh, we are the smart workers the next question would be if you are hiring for this position what qualities qualities would you look for a potential candidate suppose if you are in my position and what are the things you look from candidate i can understand this question being a fresher i may not give right answer but i'll try to give you that uh, what are the potential what are the what are the things qualities required for this position as for the my knowledge and a job description for this position a candidate should have both good amount of soft and advanced technical skills telling about myself how i can fit to this position i trained in advanced technologies which are very much suitable to this position so once i join i may not require much training i can start work immediately on projects so i can definitely be the right person and i can definitely be the right asset to this organization moreover i can save the time and organization money as well the next question would be are you willing to relocate or travel from this hr guys are expecting how we are flexible if a really a project demands that my presence is required to travel another location yes i am very much flexible and i am ready to travel to another location the next question would be are you willing to work on another technology when it requires again this is another flexibility related uh, question yes i am flexible to work on another technologies uh, but if you provide a professional training or good and give some enough time to learn i'll definitely would like to work on another technologies i don't mind to expand my technical skills as long as there is a growth which improves my career the next question would be would you like to work some repetitive work so that means how hr guys are checking uh, our patience levels being a fresher i am not aware of how the repetition in the offices in the projects but in general i would like to learn new things and love to work on creativity side on research kind of work 
I know that it may not be possible in all scenarios, all situations and all the times. So I am fine to work with on repetitive in a short period. But in long period, I really don't like to work on repetition for a long time. So the next question would be, can you work independently? From this, HR guys expecting whether you are the team player or independently work on the projects. Generally, I would like to work as a team and I'm a good team player. But if I'm required to work independently as per the project requirement, I will definitely open and flexible would like to work on both environments. I really don't mind. And the next question would be, how do you improve your knowledge? How you improve like uh, upgrade and update your skills? I can improve my knowledge by keep visiting blogs and technical articles and technical videos. Maximum, I'll try to update and upgrade my knowledge periodically to see myself in the market. Trends. The next question would be, how do you evaluate your own performance? Generally, I will evaluate myself periodically where exactly I am standing uh, now. If I really see a problem with my own performance, I will try to find out the root cause of the problem and I will go through all the situations where I am in lack and I try to work on each area and rectify them and I will try to come out into a normal situation. To compete with, the, with this world the next question would be what are your career options right now from these HR guys are expecting how you are planning your career short term and long term goals as I'm a pressure so now I'm looking for a good break where I can start and build my career in the right direction and my career objective and goal or would like to be very successful in both personal and professional life in the right direction as being very honest. So I would like to start my initial career from your organization. If I really get an opportunity, I really like to join this organization. The next question would be assuming that if you are selected, what will be your strategy for next 60 days? Again, this is how you are planning your career and what is your strategy? once you join this organization. If I really select for this position, I'll make sure to use each and every opportunity which are providing by, the, by this organization to build my starting career. At the same time, I'll try to understand organization missions, visions and values, projects and technologies. I'll give my best to put all my full efforts carefully and contribute to the organization business and at the same time, I'll try to increase the overall profitability of the organization as much as possible from my side. That means I'll try to add some values to my career and my personal growth. At the same time, I'll put some values to organization growth as well. The next question would be, where do you see yourself five years from now on? Again, this is again strategy related question. Definitely, I can see myself as being a responsible person in this organization, having right roles and responsibilities. So definitely, I can say that I'll be, the, uh, I'll be associating this organization long term and I'll be the good asset to this organization. I'm sure that uh, this organization can provide such opportunity, such a growth uh, to my career. And uh, what do you know about us and uh, what do you know uh, about the company so from this the HR guys like expecting and uh, uh, whether you have gone through uh, about company profile before attending this interview I have gone through your company website before attending this interview and uh, and and I came to know that uh, this organization is providing opportunities to both freshers and experienced guys and also seen that how latest technologies are being used on both product and service and different um, projects on different domains. And also gone through clients, uh, what, are, what are clients for this uh, organization. So I'm quite interesting about this organization and I'm looking forward to start my career from this organization. 
and how much salary the next question would be how much salary do you expect so what is the cts you are expecting from this organization so as i am a fresher i am not thinking about salary now i would like to i want to build my start career with the right organization uh, where where they'll give good amount of growth provide good amount of growth so i am going as per the company standard i really don't have any uh, such a figures in my mind the last question would be would you like to ask anything or do you have any questions to ask me yeah ask employer the information that you are really interested and especially make employers believe that you are really interested for this position or for this organization yes i would like to know few things how long would be the training period and are there any provision period and what are the office timings and are company providing any transportation facilities to the employees are there any additional benefit support from regular salary and i would like to know how soon i can join this organization and uh, thank you very much really i am almost all done all uh, top most 30 hr interview questions and answers and all these answers are uh, it is real time uh, guys experienced and i prepared all the answers were given uh, real time answers the whole idea of preparing this video is to make you get comfortable on giving hr interview and one thing i am pretty sure that uh, if you or uh, if you know anything from 100 top feet like as a board eye view then our confidence level and uh, uh, are quite different so here my attempting of preparing this video also same i want you to know about hr interview very clearly and what are the secrets behind the hr interview and what are the hr guys are expecting uh, then there is no like room for scare and uh, we can go on very cool mind and a very pleasant mind we can give all right answers i hope that this video would help you and if you really like this video please subscribe to this youtube channel and uh, you would get uh, latest updates and uh, you would be notified further videos and uh, thank you so much for listening this video all the best